Hey everyone, Professor Baldwin here to show you how to review an exam in my math lab. And along the way, I'll show you some tricks to get a higher test grade. From your D2L course homepage, scroll down to the Pearson My Lab and Mastering widget and click that link. Now click the bright golden Open My Lab and Mastering button on the top of the screen. This is the course homepage for your My Math Lab course. Your page may look different than mine, but you have many of the same options on the left. Unlike homework where you can review it from the assignments link, you need to review your exams via the gradebook. Click the gradebook link and you'll see grades for all of your completed assignments. To review your exam, click the review link next to the name. Then your exam will open in a new window. At the very least, review the questions you got wrong. Click the drop down arrow to see which questions you got wrong. The red X means your answer was incorrect. The red X in parentheses means you didn't attempt that question. Let's look at question two. See this number in the top left of the screen, 3.2.25? This tells you the question is from chapter three, section two, and is similar to the problem number 25 in the textbook. You can also use this information to help you find similar problems in the study plan. Okay, so this answer doesn't look wrong. That's because it's not wrong. My math lab shows you the correct answer. To see what you entered, you need to click this little red triangle. Now you can compare your answer to the correct answer. Do you see why this question was marked wrong? Yeah, I used the letter N and not the letter X. My answer is correct, I just didn't pay attention. Hopefully my instructor catches this and gives me some credit. But I'm definitely going to email a picture of this to her just in case. And now I know to be more careful with my variable choices on future exams. If I click this link just below what I answered, I'll get a pop-up window with some extra feedback and help. Now let's look at another question. Let's pick question eight. This is a question that I didn't answer. On the top left, you see a number again, 4.3. 0.83. Remember, this is chapter 4, section 3, and a similar question to number 83 in the textbook. So, I can see the correct answer, and if I click the red triangle, I can see my answer, nothing. That's because I didn't attempt this question. Because I didn't attempt this question, my math lab won't give me extra feedback and help when I click the get answer feedback link. While reviewing your exam, you have full access to the question help features on the top right of the screen. Here I have help me solve this, view an example, video, animation, textbook, and ask my instructor. There's so many tools to help me be successful. Pick the ones that work for you and learn from your mistakes. Make sure you always review your exams. As we saw, my math lab makes mistakes with grading, but reviewing your exam and learning from your mistakes is a great technique to increase your math competency so you can master the material and ace your next test. That's it for how to review an exam in my math lab. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, leave a like and hit subscribe.